Hello, we're here in Barcelona at the ESC 2022 Congress and we've just presented the first ever cardio-oncology guideline from the ESC on the management of cardiovascular disease in cancer patients. And this is designed to help clinicians look after a cancer patient throughout their cancer journey, starting at the beginning before they start a treatment that could cause heart problems then how to monitor them during treatment and then what to treat if a problem is detected. And finally, the survivorship, starting with an assessment in the first year after completing treatment and then who needs long-term follow-up. One of the key messages is that this guideline focuses on why a patient with cancer may be different to a patient without cancer and therefore why a new guideline is needed to specifically discuss things. So, Teresa, what were your key messages from the guideline this morning? I think I want to highlight two key messages. The first, as you told, is the dynamic risk of cardiovascular toxicity. And the second one is that we need to organize a continuous and personalized cardiovascular surveillance of patients who are going to receive cardiotoxic drugs. Because the risk of developing cancer therapy-related cardiovascular toxicity depends on the baseline cardiovascular condition, also on non-baseline cardiovascular condition, and also depend on the type of treatment. And this risk changes through the pathway of care. So cardio-oncology aims to reduce this risk and also to detect early problems so that it is not necessary to interrupt cancer therapy and we can continue at the same time with the best cancer treatment and the best cardiovascular treatment. We fully agree. It's really important to prevent interruptions of evidence-based cancer therapy to get the best outcomes. Did we discuss any special populations in this guideline? Yes, of course. We discuss uh, a patient with different level of risk. So we assess the baseline risk and uh, we use this baseline risk assessment to decide which are the best monitoring protocols. And not just for standard, let's see, a standard cancer patient, but also for patients with previous cardiovascular diseases and patients who have car cardiac tumors or who have AED amyloidosis, carcinoid heart disease, pregnant women who need cancer therapy during the pregnancy, and also we review the how to deal with patients with pacemakers and defibrillator during radiotherapy. And now the guidelines available as a pocket app and there's interactive tools so that you can create your own patient risk assessment. And I'm sure there'll be a lot more next year at ESC 2023 in Amsterdam. Yeah, we hope that these guidelines help your clinical practice and also the cardiovascular wellness of your patients.